So hello guys, today I will show you how I'm doing my GoPro onboard videos. For that, the first thing you need is the program Garmin Vibe, VIRP. With that, you need um, two more things. You need your video file, you export directly from your GoPro, and you need your Garmin files. You have to download them from your Garmin Connect profile so that you can fit them into the program. The file you need for that is the FET file. And when you downloaded all the things, I will show you how I'm doing my videos. So the first point I'm doing is I'm adding my video per drag and drop into this line here. So I can show you how I'm doing this. I'm going here to downloads and I'm grabbing one video like this one and put it in. Yeah, it's already inside. So when it's there, you go with your right hand with right click and then you can create a video. So when you create a video, you can give it a name like test one, create video, and then it's up there. So there is the new window where you have here your file and here are all the settings you can take. Maybe it would be better for you if I change the settings. So just give me a second. Okay, so no worries. I didn't found the, the language option, so I'm doing it on German, but I will do everything. I will explain every single step I'm doing in English for you. So now I got the video here based here. So the first thing I can do is probably I can trim the clip like I want it when I will do it more um, short. I can click on the cut it at the right, uh, make two parts or cut it at the left. And maybe if you mount your GoPro in the wrong direction, you can um, turn it oh, uh, 180 degrees like this. Or you can also switch the sides and you can make the speed here. So you can also add audios or you can just um, regulate the, the volume so but the most important thing for you are the g-metrics the g-metrics are the data you have downloaded from garmin it's the fet file i already told you so what you are doing is you go to g-metrics import g-metrics and there is the whole history of all my g-metrics I already have put in. So now I will search that one I was writing at this day. And I think it's this one. Sometimes you see you have to wait a bit until the map window is opening up. Okay, now we got the, the map here. So what I'm doing, I see, okay, it's the date I'm looking for. And yeah, I see the route and I know, okay, this day is the day I was riding and filming. So I take this log and now the log is, will be shown in, in the video. So what you now have to do, you see a lot of graphics. Here. Yeah. Basically, this is a it's a, a, a just an example for you that you can see that something changed. I will do now a new layout with you so that you can easily understand how I'm doing this. So 
by clicking on one of these graphics you can just delete it with your delete button on your laptop and I'm deleting this one and I'm deleting this one and this one because these are the things I don't want to have here you have to click a bit more and here is the logo so it's a bit, a bit tricky sometimes um, yeah you can also Uh, oh yeah, by, by clicking on this button, it will be away. So, now my data... Ah oh yeah, okay, here. So you got two options. The first option, you go to your examples. And you can see here, uh, my own... These are my own created um, speed overlays. So later you can save your speed overlay by with the save button here. So I got this one here. This is the, the newest one. So I'm taking this one for example. And here now I got the two speed overlays directly in my video. So but I want to show you how you do it when you don't have examples already created. So I'm going to data and here I got all the single metrics which were collected by my Garmin. So especially like the, the power. Here is the power. So I'm looking for a power layer. So I'm going to search, search search a layer and here are all the layers that are available so like this one I just click it and drop it like this so here I got now my speed overlay or my this is the power overlay for sure the next step I'm looking also for the speed. For this I'm going to record its speed and search for one. So now I'm just taking one that you have an idea what's going on. So I take this, grab it and drop it here. So the next step is really important because now you have fit the overlay into your video but you have to synchron, you have to, to match the video and the data because now the video starts but your ride already started at one at zero so the video is, was recorded maybe after 50 minutes so the video starts at 50 but your record starts at zero so what we have to do now is we go to oh sorry to data and we make it by synchronization what I'm doing the most of the time is I'm looking for special things in the video like I can show it to you here I know that there is a little a little street here here is the street here's the street so here's the map and I'm going with my I can just don't know why this, this is not working. So normally there is a red button with which I can ah yeah there it is. So I know mm, a bit where it can be. So the next thing is I'm now looking for this little street. Okay, this is that street, this is not, okay, yeah, I went on the street, then I was going there, yeah, okay, okay, so after this section here, it must be somewhere, so I know it because I already have done it, that the street I am looking for is this one. So 
I'm going exactly to the street. So because I'm now at the same position with the video and the map. So both of them matching. So a little bit problem of the program, maybe it's only with my laptop, is that it will be it will not show you directly. Uh, yeah, you see both of them are zero, nothing is happening. So you just click on finish and then you can see it here. So by pressing play, you can see ah okay, now it takes the data from the setting you have done in in your matching mode. So this works out. So basically this this is all the things you have to do. Now you can choose if you like like it you can also switch with this matrix here the color with um, color one you can make it black, red, green, everything you want. Green is also pretty cool. And you can transform transformate your uh, metric.